Guys, welcome to Crazy Burger. So it's that time of the month again. It's Indie Heroes Collection 2 Game of the Month. And this month we're getting Ira the Crow Maiden. Without further ado, let's get stuck into it. Okay, so we've got Ira the Crow Maiden, which interestingly enough, I did actually preview um, in my sort of video back a few months back, guessing that this might be a game we would get on Indie Heroes Collection 2. Although I did preview the NES version, and I think we are getting the Mega Drive version here, which is definitely better than this. Um, so this is the Game of the Month feature for Indie Heroes 2. Um, we're getting 10 games between April and December 2022, and you've got the whole month to play them. Again, updating your Evercade VS firmware. Um, you'll be able to play this for a full month or whenever you decide to actually update your firmware. Um, and you will get Indie Heroes Collection 2 on a cartridge releasing at the end of 2022 with all those 10 games on the one cart. So I think, I'm not really sure, I think is this game number 6 or so we're on now. Um, I've kind of lost count a little bit. Um, and this is obviously kind of a platform style game. And it was initially an S title which was then ported to... Mega Drive Genesis, and that's the version that we've got here, which is fantastic. Now, the full information on this game is actually on our Evercade website, as usual. I'll leave a link in the description. Remember, you need to update your Evercade VS firmware to get access and play this game. Um, but without further ado, guys, we're going to get stuck into the actual game, get it played, and we'll give you my first initial reaction and thoughts of what it's actually like. Okay guys, the usual blurb at the start here, Ira the Crow Maiden, this is from a company called Second Dimension, um, and obviously you're playing Ira the Crow Maiden, and here's the usual sort of descriptions and stuff. Um, it's just a one player game, it was obviously originally 8, player, uh, eight bit, sorry, and we're now getting the 16 bit version. This is the control layout, jump, um, attack with a weapon and release the crow to sort of attack enemies. You can change that layout, but I never really th found any of them that was actually particularly useful. Personally, I would have liked it maybe jump on the B button, for example. I don't know, I just how I sort of felt, I just didn't think the default was perfect. Anyway, let's get stuck into the actual game by Second Dimension. And I'm pretty sure this is definitely Mega Drive or Genesis version, which you can actually purchase on its own. Um, if you want the ROM, it's $10, and if you want the actual cart, it's $50. So this is amazing value right away um, if you're getting the Indie Heroes Collection 2, which is obviously retailing about $20 or $17.99 in pounds, which, you know, that's a really good deal that we're getting here. Now there's a little story at the start of the game, um, sort of the usual stuff, but I'm not going to waste too much of it, I'll let you guys... So I get stuck into that itself, but I think the whole point is you need to go through the level, kill the enemies, and kill, sort of rescue. I think you're rescuing some six six guys. I don't know who they are, um, but you need to rescue these six guys. You see down the bottom, you've got three um, health hearts. Um, you've got two abilities where you can also use the crow to defeat the other enemies that you can't maybe quite reach. Um, you can all sorts of collectibles, they are very random, you can sort of defeat the enemies, you get a random thing drop down, treasure, coins, upgrades to your uh, weapon which is fantastic so bear that in mind upgrading that weapon obviously the, initially it's quite short reach but as soon as you upgrade it you'll get a longer reach and then so forth till you get a pretty handy um, axe on you and um, you can also pick up extra health as you go um, but that's quite important and it's a very tricky platformer I would urge anyone to use the save states otherwise you get sent all the way back to the beginning of the level it's a very tricky game but I love this style of game I love a platformer and please don't ask what this guy's doing he looks like he's doing something really really rude I'm pretty sure he's maybe tied to whatever that is there, but it looks like he's doing something naughty. Um, but yeah, you need to try and rescue him from his obvious whatever he's doing. And um, yeah, and there's six of them <laughs> in every level. You can see there's one at the top there. The guy's facing away. I don't know what he's doing. He looks like he's peeing or something. I don't know. He's doing something. <laughs> pretty amusing, I thought, but yeah. So you need to do that. Find them in uh, each of the levels. There's about three stages, then a boss stage. And it goes like that, then different sort of stages as you go. But personally, so far, I found this game extremely playable, absolutely fantastic. Use those safe states because you get sent all the way back to the beginning when you die. Um, but so far, so good, really enjoying it.
and eventually you get to the boss level which is pretty easy to be honest you just need to find the sweet spot where to stand and hit the enemy I think it's three times I suppose and then you will complete the stage and move on to the next one it's not too hard you just need to stand in the right spot just learn the moves pretty simple so far I'm pretty sure it'll get harder as the game goes on um, but that completes that stage. One of the things I don't like of the game is that the enemies just tend to respawn all the time. Even if you go off the screen back on, they just respawn immediately. That seems something more like what the SNES would, uh, sorry, the NES version would have done. But yeah, a little bit annoying. So just remember that you could maybe go off the screen, come back, and forget the enemies appeared again, and you could die instantly. A little bit annoying. Um, but it's a nice looking game, the graphics are really nice, I love the parallax scrolling in the background there, it sounds nice, it's got a nice tune. I really like this style of game, it's absolutely fantastic, in my opinion this is probably the best game we've had so far since Tapeworm, um, that was the first game we got, it's absolutely brilliant, very highly polished, extremely impressive, I love this. I think some of the games recently have been a wee tiny bit lacklustre. Um, but this is definitely back to form. To think we've still got about four, three or four games still to reveal for Indie Heroes, so it's shaping up not too bad at all. I definitely really enjoyed this one. Just beware, it's a very challenging game. It's very tricky, so utilise those safe states and everything should be okay. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching our video. Please like and subscribe and we'll catch you again in the next one. Bye for now.